most wonderful time of the year as many people look forward to being together with family and friends, sharing the joy of togetherness. This year is extra special as with the pandemic, we have to find new ways of connecting with each other whilst remaining physically separated. Instead of gathering together for carols and scriptures this year, we present a six-part mini-series sharing the story of the greatest gifts of all time, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Tonight's scripture will be read by Lance Corporal Booth B of the Manning School Cadet Unit. This will be followed by a commentary by our special guest, Reverend Leroy Johnson, Rector of the Westmoreland Parish Church. But first, join us in singing tonight's carol, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, I Am, Sergeant Rose A., Senior NCO at the Manning School Cadet Unit, and this is Carols and Scriptures 2020. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all the nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time we hold Him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see. Hail the incarnate deity, lived with man as meant to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, Life and light to all he brings, raised with healing in his wings. Mild he laid his glory by, born that man no more may die. Born to raise the sons of earth, born to give man second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Reading from St. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through to 7. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was the governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone, in, everyone into his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, upon the city of David, which is Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothing and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The story of Christmas continues. The Christmas story is one of the most intriguing and heartwarming stories ever told. It's a story of hope and peace and joy and of divine love, all wrapped in this special gift to earth, 
Jesus Christ. The text from St. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7, distinguishes between the transient power and the eternal power. A decree went out from Caesar Augustus at a time and in a year to which those words refer to the most powerful person on earth, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome. The Roman domination extended all over the Mediterranean world and reached across to the island of Britain and went eastward to Asia. Wherever the Roman legions marched, men made way before them. Augustus himself was responsible for notable achievements. Concerning Rome itself, it is said of him that he found it brick and left it marble. So it was that under the rule of Augustus, the very name Rome meant wealth, power, and authority. Then in a corner of a conquered province, which was part of the Roman Empire, one night a baby was born. It was in a little town to which the mother and her husband had come because the decree of Caesar Augustus had compelled them to make their journey there. Both of them were poor, and when they came to the town, no one took notice of their coming, and no one helped them to find a place in which to stay. Since the only shelter they could get was a stable, it was in a stable that the baby was born, a baby whose name was Jesus. As between Caesar Augustus and the child born in Palestine, who would have had any question as to which was a significant figure? Surely, Caesar Augustus would tower above the horizon of history, while a child born in one of his provinces would be lost among the multitudes that existed beneath his shadows. But alas, it was not to be so. As great as he was, Caesar Augustus is now only an echo of ancient times. While the name of the child is spoken of daily by millions who, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. The name of Jesus speaks to the God incarnate, the Savior of the world, the Emmanuel, God in our very midst. So Christ is the reason for the season. We celebrate not just Christmas, but Christ Mass, the advent of hope and peace and joy and love. So then, joy to the world, our Savior has come. Let earth receive her King. Alleluia. I pray you'll be our eyes And watch us where we go to be wise in times when we don't know let this be your prayer when we lose our way lead us to a place
I pray we'll find your light. I pray we'll find your light. And hold it in our hearts. And hold it in our hearts. When stars go out each night. Stars go out each night. Remind us where you are. Remind us where you are. Let this be our prayer. Shadows fill our day. When shadows fill our days, all our hope leads to a place. Oh my, guide us with Your grace. Guide us with Your grace. Give us faith so we'll be safe. Seasons greetings, one and all. Of course, this is our special YouTube Christmas Carol Service 2020. What a year it has been thus far. We acknowledge in a special way members of the Jamaica Combined Cadet Force, members of the JCF, members of the JDF, other uniformed groups, our clergy, parishioners, and just about everyone. It is good that amidst the hustle and the bustle, amidst even the fears, that we can pause to acknowledge the real reason for the season and to celebrate the implications thereof. I wish then for everyone a holy, enjoyable, and a safe Christmas season. Greetings. Thank you for being with us tonight. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so that you can get notification on all our future productions. In the spirit of this season, we ask that you give the greatest gift right now. Remember, if you have to go out, wear your mask, wash your hands, stay six feet apart. But if you don't have to go out, remember, turn your yard and join us tomorrow for another in our series, Joy to the World, Carols and Scriptures 2020.